My name is Judy Estrin, and my involvement with TCP and IP actually uh, skips into two different phases. One, I was uh, part of Vince's group at Stanford while I was doing my master's. I was the youngest member of that team, so it's a place where I actually get to feel younger as opposed to these days feeling, being older than all the entre entrepreneurs. But I also then went on to build a career as an entrepreneur commercializing networking and internetworking markets. So I involved in the research side as well as the commercialization of uh, TCP, both in the internet and in local area network environments. So this is uh, uh, an anniversary. I wasn't there 40 years ago. I was there 39 years ago is when I joined the team. And it really changed my life. It changed my life because it established, uh, put me on a path, a career in as an entrepreneur in the networking environment and it changed my life because I met and worked with some wonderful, wonderful people. So it's just a joy to be here and to think back to uh, 39 and 40 years ago and everything that we've been able to build since then and it was a time of incredible collaboration and openness and it was a really exciting time for innovation. That's wonderful. Uh, tell us uh, about, so you're such an inspiration to entrepreneurs and women. I mean, uh, so, so tell me a little bit about that. So I was the only woman on, in that team actually at Stanford. In that year, there were three women engineers getting their masters. We were all under five foot two. I don't know if that means anything, but um, I had an unbelievable role model in that my mother, Thelma Estrin, uh, was one of the first PhDs in electrical engineering when she went to school. So I was very fortunate to grow up in an environment that uh, was rich, exposed to computer science. Vint was actually my father's PhD student, so my father was at the computer science department at UCLA. So I come from a, uh, uh, an a not, I inherited, I guess it's in my DNA to kind of be in this area, and um, it's even more special to me to be here to celebrate the history of this, given it goes back a generation, and actually both of my parents have passed in the last two years, so it is, uh, it's especially poignant for me today. Oh, that's delightful. Um, uh, so so tell, tell us uh, the, the significance of, of uh, what the internet has, uh, means today to, to students and, and children and, and entrepreneurs in general. How big has this gotten, and where are we going with it? It means everything. I mean, everything that we do today, from our phones to our computers to the devices we wear, are all interconnected over the internet. And so um, even though people think about social networking or think about uh, Snapchat or WhatsApp, all of these things are built on the foundation of the internet. And if it wasn't designed with the level of scalability and openness that it was, um, it's just amazing that we're, it has grown the way it, it did. When I was uh, CTO at Cisco after they purchased one of my companies, one of the sayings is that the internet will change the way you, I think it was work, play, live, and learn. Well, it certainly has. And so uh, I think if you say what it means, it means how, it's hard to imagine our lives without it at this point.